Hi! Hi folks! A couple of days ago, right there on YouTube, a young man, a Korean young man, now I do not know if he's actually in Korea or if he's in the United States, but he questioned me. Yeah, that's what he did. He questioned the naive of me with my YouTube videos in reference to the comfort women issue. He disagreed with me on that, and that's fine. No problem. But at the end of the video, he said something that I did not care for. I admonished him in reference to it. So what he did, he deleted the video, and he sent me an apology. And the apology is accepted. But prior to him deleting it, I was able to capture it. So I'm going to respond to his video, portions of it, in this video. I'm covering up his face with this because it isn't necessary to actually see who he is. I just want to protect the young man from any nonsense people may have to write in the comment sections or elsewhere. And let's go over the first portion of what he said. But your videos seem to claim that Cumber Woman is not real. Now, no one denies that they were comfort women. We admit they were comfort women. The Koreans say, the Japanese say, the Americans say, me too, there was comfort women. The controversy involves in how these women became comfort women. Were they dragged off the peninsula to make sex slaves or were they recruited as well-paid prostitutes? That's where the controversy is. Let's look at his video a little further. Well, Tony, let me challenge you. Actually present the world and YouTube with historical evidence that shows that comfort woman is not something real. They authenticated the report, saying that this is an authentic report written in 1944 by the United States Army after they captured comfort woman in the Philippines. And it came across these three documents. Yay! That was it. Those three documents. In essence, what these documents are, they're interrogation reports of Japanese prisoners of war. And it goes on to mention it here in this part that the uh, civilian brothel owner was captured. See? This is the United States Army reporting that a civilian brothel owner for the Japanese was captured. Not rescued! But Report 49 from 1944 and these three documents based upon interrogations and uh, captured material clearly state there was no such thing as sexual slaves. This report, report number 78 by the United States Army, uh, April of 1945. And what was happening in April of 1945? I think we call that the Second World War. The United States Army interrogating Koreans that were captured. Prisoners of war. Gee, prisoners of war? That means these Koreans were engaged in war against who? Not the Japanese, me, the United States, that's who. But paragraph 18 now, this is the paragraph that we need to read together. Alright, paragraph 18. All Korean prostitutes that POW have seen in the Pacific were volunteers or have been sold by their parents into prostitution. This is proper in the Korean way of thinking. The direct conscription of women by the Japanese would be an outrage that the old and young alike would not tolerate. Men would rise up in a rage killing Japanese no matter what the consequences they may suffer. These reports written by various army interrogators Report the truth as they learn interrogating Koreans, interrogating the actual prostitutes themselves. The well-paid prostitutes! <laughs> look at the horrified look on their face. Look, yeah, it is a horrified look. You want to know why they had that horrified look? Because according to the description of that piece of film footage, those are Chinese girls that this description placed by the National Archives. They were Chinese girls. So Chinese troops captured these Chinese girls 
collaborating with the Imperial Japanese Army. Well, of course they're going to have a horrified look on their face. So he says he wants historical evidence. Documentation! What substantiates what I say? Yeah, 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 yeah. A lot of my videos, in reference to the comfort woman issue, I provide the documentation to substantiate my verbiage, my dialogue, <laughs> my ranting. I challenge you to that because I assure you, you will have a hard time finding information not made by right-wing Japanese people. So you see, those documents were not prepared by my friends in Japan or anybody in Japan. Quite the opposite. Documents were prepared during the war and shortly after the war by the United States Army. They were housed outside of Washington, D.C., College Park, the National Archives. Now, you may be getting Washington, D.C. confused with Japan because of the cherry blossoms in Washington. No, Washington's in the United States. So, understand this. The comfort women were recruited according to those documents. And the documents that I use to substantiate my position, none of them come from Japan. Okay? Do we have an understanding there? Alright, folks. We'll see you. God bless you. God bless America. And God bless the nation you happen to be in. See ya! <laughs>